welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am planning on showing you my meal plan for the next week and I'm also going to go to the shops and get the items that are on that meal plan. So I thought I would just show you the meal plan that we have. We are starting this on a Wednesday and um, generally speaking we try to plan for about seven days but if we've got something on at the weekend or whatever we always try to just accommodate for like one day. So generally I will make probably about six meals and then we'll have a takeaway or we might go to a friend's house or whatever. So I've just literally made the meal plan. I'm going to go through it and tell you what I've got, then what I plan on collecting at the shops and then when we're at the shops I'll get all the bits and pieces, bring it back and do a food haul. I'm also going to make a part two of this video which will be what my family eats in a week. So be sure to check that out on my channel and subscribe for that. That will be coming probably next week when it's all complete. But yeah, let me just show you what I've planned for us to eat this week. Okay, so this is my meal plan. Nothing fancy. I literally just get a pad and a pen and just go for it and write down some ideas. So today's Wednesday, I'm planning on making the chicken and bacon with veg, kind of like a sort of oven type of dish. So I really like doing these ones because there's less cleaning up to do I normally find. And on Thursday, we're having a turkey stir fry, um, which I'll show you. It's actually a HelloFresh recipe and we have loved it. So that's the reason why I'm remaking it. Friday, we are going out with friends. Saturday, I'm making sausages and mash for me and the kids because Fraser's going out. Sunday we're having a roast, Monday is lasagna and kind of garlic bread or whatever and Tuesday is a burrito and salad. So yeah, I'm going to leave that in the description box if you want a sort of like guideline for a family of four's weekly meals. <laughs> and here is my shopping list. Hey guys, so I'm just back from the shops, a little bit windswept to say the least, it's a bit unfortunate actually. It's that kind of like really annoying rain that just gets you absolutely saturated. So. Anyway, I went in the shops with Charlie. I had to put through about five or six empty packets by the end because he was just like munching his way through the whole shopping experience. So I will go to the car, get everything, lay it all out. And what I'm planning on doing is putting it into meals so that it's easier for you to go, right, I really fancied the idea of that turkey stir fry or whatever I've mentioned and you'll kind of know a snapshot of exactly what you're going to need for it. Okay, so I have finally laid everything out in little sort of sections of each meal. And of course there will be things in the recipe that I haven't had to pick up today just because I might have it in the cupboard but I will mention it just in case you're trying to make some of these meals. Um, but overall I think I spent £96 which is probably the most I've ever spent in Lidl for the longest time. Should have mentioned that, it was Lidl I got this from. It's probably the most I've spent in Lidl for forever. I always spend roughly about £65 or £70 but I think the reason why is I got a lot of meat and also I picked up some goodies as well. So if they weren't there, then probably I would be within my 75 pound-ish sort of target, but I did overspend at this time. So let me just walk you through exactly what it is I've got. I will first of all start with the extra stuff, then move on to the meals. So for lunches and for breakfast, I've picked up some Hovis. This is the tasty wholemeal medium bread. I always tend to buy wholemeal. Um, and I've also got these, which are just basically like the Warburton thins, but these are the little version. Um, just some brown sandwich thins. And I find these are good for putting on like peanut butter and banana for kids for lunchtime, or even like one of these, just slightly toasted with some bacon at the weekends is a real treat. And it's good because they're only about 100 calories pair thin so if you are trying to be good then these are a good option I picked up some loose bananas because it's cheaper to buy them loose than in a packet if you didn't know that then now you do <laughs> I've also picked up some clementines little easy peelers um, and these are really good for the kids and also for like Fraser and I just a little snack I had two packets of these raspberries but Charlie decided to eat an entire pack of them while we were going into shops, which I'm not going to discourage, um, you know, really good for you and stuff, but oh my god, the sugar. I got these for lunches, I tend to have these on the kids' lunch plates um, just to get some fruit into them. I got our favourite apples, which are the pink lady apples. If you have another apple type that you like, that is quite like pink lady, then please let me know because I feel like I'm always so closed in my apple choices. <laughs> so if you have another type of apple that you recommend, then leave it in the comments because I'd be interested to know what you like. I've also got some of this Graham's Light and Low milk and I never realised this is blended with buttermilk. I don't really know the difference, um, but this is the one that I tend to pick up anyway. Um, I also got some squeezy yogurts, which you might be able to tell is already missing one out of it. Thanks, Charlie. 
but that's what got him through the shopping trip so I can't complain much. I also got these bigger yogurts, the kind of dual ones. I'm pretty sure they were about 70 pence or a pound. They were really cheap. So I got them four of. And the Fraser and I absolutely love this hot and spicy cheese. So you just like two slices of that with some crackers. It really fills a gap. I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's maybe really kind of spicy and tasty. It just, it really is quite satisfying. It's good cheese. I like that. And the fact that it's already sliced is like the lazy option. And sometimes for lunch, what I fancy doing is basically like an adult's lunchable. <laughs> or I do this for the kids as well, to be fair. But this is just like cooked chicken breast, like formed into little circles and um, with no added water, 100% chicken breast slices. I only have these with some crackers um, and like some cheese and just make a little lunchables up. We also love tuna in this house. We tend to have like tuna baked potatoes quite often, um, tuna pasta, that kind of thing. So this is the one I tend to pick up because it's got a ring pull. I don't know about anyone else, but we seriously struggle with tin openers in this house. They seem to just break on us all the time. So having a ring pull one is definitely the way forward. And again, for some picky lunches, I've got some Sunstream Vine tomatoes. Um, yeah, they were actually on offer for 99 pence, which was really good. Then moving on into my meals, right? So the first one is a turkey stir fry by HelloFresh. Now we got this in a box before and we just always, always constantly rebuy the stuff and basically make it ourselves. So you've got three turkey breast steaks, um, which I basically slice into really, really slim pieces and fry off. Um, I also throw in some munch too, and some peppers, um, and also some lime. You also need to get some hoisin sauce, which I've got, and some squeezy honey. You'll need a little bit of that, but it makes such a difference. And then, once you've made your rice, if you drain through some coconut milk into your rice, um, you don't want it like all wet, obviously. You want it just to be drained through it, just to give it the flavour. And then, chop up some spring onion, raw, like don't, don't heat it, and just mix it through your freshly made rice. And, almost forgot actually, you need to like grate in a carrot into the stir fry as well. Oh my god, it's like one of my favourite meals, I love it. And what's good about it is, it's really healthy. So I love that one, I love HelloFresh for ideas. They just like always give me really good inspiration. So that is one of my fave, fave, fave meals. And I'm planning on making it this week. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss it. Moving on to tonight's dinner, which I'm going to use some of these carrots for as well. I've got some chicken breast fillets, um, which I'm planning on slicing and then popping in some of this, basically Philadelphia. It's just like a soft cheese with herbs. Pop that in the inside. This is like a really simple, simple, kind of like impressive if you like dinner it always looks good on the plate and um, so normally what i would do is butterfly the chicken which just means cut it from this side like from the bigger side so it looks like a love heart when it opens spread in some of this cheese and then you want to wrap it in some bacon pop it on a baking tray and bake it for probably around 25 minutes just until the chicken is cooked through meanwhile this can also be cooking at the same time chop up some of the broccoli and your carrots, cover them in some olive oil, you can also throw in some fine beans if you fancy, which I'm planning on doing, um, cover them in some olive oil and some salt, and bake them, yes, bake your broccoli, do not boil it, do not steam it, bake it in the oven, um, for around 20 minutes, maybe just less than that, and you'll have the most gorgeous chicken, creamy, bacon, roast veggie kind of dinner ever, add some gravy if you want, I'm partial to some, that's another fave of mine and it's a really easy go-to. The kids love it too, which is great. Um, and it's also like all home cooked, so nothing in packets. Well, apart from you. But I'm not making my own soft cheese, let's face it. <laughs> Something that isn't a packet and I'm not ashamed to say, this is our Saturday night dinner and we're going to have some Richmond thick sausages and mashed potato with peas and gravy. And it's a real hearty kind of dinner. It reminds me of when I was younger and got to love some mashed potato. So that is what I've got for Saturday's dinner. Up here, we're going to make some lasagna with a difference. So when I make lasagna, I actually make it without using the white sauce. And that's the thing that actually has the most calories in it. So if you're trying to be good, then ditch the white sauce. And instead, just like have, I've got some frozen onions. So that's what I normally use. Just fry off some frozen onion, pop in some mince into your pan, 
brown that off, crumble in a stock cube, add in two tins of chopped tomatoes and let it all kind of like boil down or reduce. Um, and then when that's done, all you want to do is just start layering in pasta sheets into a oven proof dish raw. Don't cook these, I'd always do them raw. It just makes it so much easier. It makes it easier to cut through and all sticks together really well. So what you want to do is put down some of your like meat mixture first, then your lasagna sheet, some more meat mixture, lasagna sheet, keep going until you're finished. Um, and then on the top, you want to leave it with the meat sauce. Don't put another lasagna sheet on top because it will go crunchy. Um, make sure you put in some water over the top of that. I'll explain it all better when we're doing the actual What My Family Eat In A Week video. And then on top, you want to cover it with some grated cheese and cook it for probably about half an hour, 40 minutes, something like that. I will tell you the exact timing on the video I plan on doing. And if you want to, you could get some garlic focaccias. That's what I've got, again, from Lidl. Um, the kids really love these. What I tend to do is bake them and then chop them into little sticks and that tends to work best for us because it means that we don't then start like getting bagged up with bread. We maybe have like one or two little sticks and then give the rest to the kiddies. This one is basically the same, almost the same as what you're going to do here. Um, I've got some 10% fat beef mince steak, beef steak mince, <laughs> um, and what I plan on doing with this is making a sort of like spicy, sort of like mincy ragu type sauce um, and put in some kidney beans which I have in the cupboard and even maybe some sweet corn as well. Make it a wee bit spicier, separate a portion for the kids that's a bit more mild. Um, and then what I plan on doing is basically putting it into these wraps, like covering it all up, sprinkling on some cheese, um, and then serving it with a side salad. And it's basically just like a sort of like mincy, beef, spicy burrito. Um, and I got these ones, these are the eight Mediterranean herb tachia wraps, which are good for enchiladas, fajitas, and sandwich wraps, and also burritos. Over here we've got our Sunday roast. This is a cheat, this is a roast in a bag, but it is very simple to do, of course, because you just put it in as it is, in the bag. Um, but I love these, they're so easy and the meat's always gorgeous. So I'm planning on doing that with my roast vegetables. Might get some more, put some onion in as well. Um, and then afterwards I've got pudding. So this is going to be our Sunday meal. It's quite self-explanatory. That goes in for like an hour and 20 minutes. You do that for the last sort of 15 minutes. Um, yeah, it's foolproof. And moving over here, I've got all my snacks and stuff. Um, and also the Sunday dinner pudding, which is my absolute holy grail this time of year. McVitie's Jamaica ginger cake. This heated with some custard is just like to die for. So that is Sunday's little treat for dinner. I'm just going to show you this just now as well. This is a little cheat actually. This is the perfume that everyone thinks smells exactly like Coco Mademoiselle and I would tend to agree. It does smell quite like it, not exactly the same, but very, very similar, um, and it's only four pounds. I'm out of perfume, it's coming up to Christmas. I'm not going to go and buy some perfume. Um, I'm hoping that Fraser might buy me some, <laughs> hint, hint. But yeah, for four pounds, I just thought I'll pick that up and it'll do me in between times, but it is lovely. And I'm not really sure what the excuse was for these, other than the fact that I am obsessed with these curly biscuits. <sighs> honestly eat a whole packet of them start to finish and have no regrets but yeah got a lot of a packet of biscuits at this time of year haven't you I don't know how many is in the pack it does say 14 luxurious varieties so um yeah I'm hoping that's a two layer effort in there <laughs> and then on to snacky snacks so here I've got some froggles and I always call them froggies but they're froggles <laughs> um, ready salted snacks six in a pack there's one missing because Charlie had them on his little binge eat whatever that was um, around the shops these are gluten free as well if anyone's interested and in follows a gluten free diet um, there's no artificial colours or flavourings um, and they are only 100 calories per bag as well if you're dieting so not just for kids Fraser and I like these as well and then I've also got some roasted salted cashews um, I didn't realise these were like proper salted ones to be fair but the kids do enjoy nuts so I tend to like give them some nuts now and then just to make sure that we kind of have the same sort of taste for it 
I think it's such a hard thing to get kids to enjoy. I try not to discourage them from having them. So those are some cashews, which are amazing. Um, I've also got some cheese puffs, which are basically what's it, aren't they? A 10 pack of them, which again, are 90 calories, so really low in calories if you are planning on trying to diet. Um, I've also got some Kidalicious raspberry wafers, which are basically like the most bizarre thing ever because they taste like raspberry prawn crackers. Um, I can just never get my head around that, but Charlie likes them, Ella quite likes them as well, and they are not bad for um, diet-wise for the kids. Um, and these, actually they're, they're quite high in sugar, um, are something I've picked up just on a whim because they were on offer. They're the Crunchy Bars Honey and Peanut, um, but yeah, they're just kind of for on the go. They're basically the things I need for in the bag to save me when things are going wrong and the kids need a snack. I picked up some marshmallows. What I tend to do with these is get like a skewer, like a sort of um, barbecue skewer and pop on like two of these and fill the rest with like fruit and Ella thinks it's such a treat because it looks so attractive the way it is, like a big stick, like a big lolly. So I've got a pack of those. Also got some of the Lidl's kind of kinder chocolate bars, um, eight in a pack and I think they were a pound. And lastly on the snack front I've got party rings, six packets of mini iced rings. Um, quite a love a party ring haven't you? That is childhood in biscuit form. And then lastly over here, I've got some Calpol. Kids have really been needing some of this um, ever since we've not been well. So I had to pick up some and get more supplies. I've got some kitchen towels. I really should have got more actually because I always find coming up to Christmas time, it's something that's hard to get a hold of in the shops. So yeah, maybe I should go and get some more and stock up. The kids were needing some bubble bath. So I picked up the Loopy baby bath, um, no more tears stuff, um, I've not smelled it yet, it smells really good, um, I had to laugh because when we were in the baby aisle, Charlie just kept going, change a bum, change a bum, because he, he could see the nappies and the wipes and everything, he's so funny, um, Lola was eating some dog food and admittedly I have never tried her in this one, however, she's completely out of dog food, I normally get her James Well Beloved, and then the Caesar pouches. So I thought I'll give this a try just for now um, and see how she gets on. If it doesn't go well, then I'll go back to James Well Beloved. But it was just because I was in Lidl and I knew that Charlie had to get a nap. So better to have that than nothing is what I thought. So I will let you know how I got on with this and how Lola enjoys it if you have a dog because it was substantially cheaper than the one we normally get her. Um, and yeah, she gets these little Caesars pouches on there as well. So guys that's the end of the food haul and meal ideas video. I really hope you enjoyed watching this and got some ideas for yourself. If you do go ahead and try any of these recipes and um, just based on what I've generally said then do let me know in the comments um, or on Instagram as well and I'm going to go and put all of this away now which is always the dream task isn't it but thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for my what my family eats in a week video coming up next week and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!